I'm Jessica. I'm Kira. Hope everyone had a fun Halloween. Because DP News starts now. the DP Haunted House last week or want to experience the horror again, make sure you come to the Little Theater tonight from 7.30 to 9.30. Remember, tickets are $5 each. And if you're still itching for some more scares, come to The Greek from 9.45 to midnight to watch the horror movie Insidious for no cost. But food and drinks will be sold to help bene benefit student activities. Feel free to bring beach chairs, blankets, and anything else you'll need to stay warm and cozy because it will be a cold one tonight. Today is the deadline for those IB registration forms to be turned in. Be sure to hand them in to your teachers or coordinators of the IB program. If you haven't turned in your application, there will be a $55 late fee. Reminder to those seniors who need help filling out their UC or CSU college applications. There will be assistance available in the Dell Lab on Monday from 2 to 7 p.m. If you plan to come, don't forget to bring your transcript, which your counselor can provide with you with. This coming Monday, November 4th, there will be a PTSA meeting open to all students on what adults and students are doing to facilitate and promote inclusion at Dos Pueblos. If you would like to attend, please come to the library at 7 p.m. for the meeting. But to enjoy some tasty tamales and meet our special guest, Dr. Ben Drotti, come earlier at 6 p.m. We will be giving two hours of community service credit for all students who attend. Any girls out there wanting to play football at lunch? Well, Powder Puff Football is coming to you. Hey, Daniel. Girls can't play football. I know, it's only for guys. Oh, she hits like a girl. <laughs> girls can play football. Powder Puff Football. Girls play, guys coach. I know you want to do it. Sign up outside Debbie's office. Remember, if you want to get involved with this, sign up in front of Debbie's office in the athletics office. The Santa Barbara International Film Festival 101010 10 competition entries are due today. If you are planning on entering a video, please fill out an application which can be found at sbiff.org and submit it to Mr. Dent. Any videos can be entered into the competition, so submit your best work. I'm Kira. And I'm Jessica. Now for Nick with Sports. Hi, I'm Nick Sultan, and this is the Sports. Yesterday, our water polo JV boys lost 9-5, but our varsity boys beat St. Marcus 13-8 for the league title. Blake Parrish had eight goals, and Jake Griffin had two. Scott Mahan, Quinn Peacock, and Graham Young scored one. Great job, boys. Yesterday, our tennis girls Casey Egger and Katie Yang won their first match in the semifinals against Megan Grant and Lisa Santry, 6-2, 6-3. In the finals, they played San Santa Barbara's Lexi Golden and Karina Thornton. We won the first set 6-2, lost the second set 3-6, but came back in the third set to beat the tiebreaker 7-5, winning the match and the China League title. Cross Country had a meet yesterday in Lompoc, and they won the, the team and individual top honors. Addie Zarainer defended the girls' title, bringing the girls' cross-country to the team title. The team's first place score was 16. Good job. For the boys, Cole Smith was the overall winner with a time of 15-10. The boys' winning score was 30. Good job showing our rival school who's boss. Today, our JV boys' water polo has a tour tournament at Santa Barbara High School. Our girls' volleyball has a tournament at Santa Barbara High School also. Go over and show your support for them, and good luck, Chargers.